This might be my fa most favorite number on the trail. This is for the people going southbound that have hit 100 miles. That's a warm welcoming. It's beautiful. Only 100. Can you believe it? No. It's impossible to believe. It is impossible. Welcome back to day 174. I'm Captain. And I'm Sunshine. And we're still walking. And we're still talking. You guys, happy October 1st. Captain and I are for the first time ever starting bold and cold. Because we got a four mile up this morning. Um, I still cannot believe that him and I are in, or I am in shorts and a tank top October 1st in Maine. And he's in his summer hoodie thing and he does have fleece pants on but he likes to wear pants and he said he's not hot so we are going from i gotta slow down long pond to we are not sure how far um probably about 14 miles um give or take and um it's 61 degrees already this morning and what else did i have to tell you guys um we're tired Everything's hurting. <laughs> Everything is. I feel like we're at that point where our bodies are almost there. So they're giving up. They're like, oh, we're almost there. We can, you know, let yeah. our knees hurt now. Your shoulders are hurting. Yeah. My feet are just aching all over. My tendonitis is, is a little bit stronger. We both have diarrhea. Okay, I, Lago does. Captain doesn't have it. No. I have it. <laughs> so there's a lot of bathroom breaks. <laughs> we're falling apart, guys. Help. No kidding. Um, all right, let's do this. So this is like a middle, like we can't decide if, decide if it's an over and under. He's a little bit taller than me, so he did okay. I'm gonna have to go under. Captain, can you take the camera? I'm going under. How low can you go? I can never do it right. I wish I had roller skates on, it'd be a lot easier. All right. It would be harder, a lot harder on this. Think so? Gosh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is the path up right there. Crazy, right? Well guys, we're gonna hit a lot of lasts. Two nights ago was our last stay in a hostel. Right now, it's our last 100 mile mark. What kind of a dance are you gonna do? The I'm tired, my feet hurt dance. No, we gotta have more energy than that. Only 97 left. Okay, we gotta do individual dances. You gotta get up. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Okay, let me do, what should my dance be? All right, I'm gonna take it to a new level now. You ready? Oh my God. It's time, it's time, baby! The Reese's Pieces are My Reese's Pieces are jumping all over. It's gonna be like when we saw 400 and there were like six of these. <laughs> Do you want to picture every one of them? Very funny. <laughs> I think you should do a dance at all of them. Oh, very good idea. Don't you have other parts that hurt? All of them. <laughs> that was good. Yep. <laughs> you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Big climb, I'm gonna stop and chat with you guys. I have something I can't hold back any longer. And hopefully by the time this video is live, which is three weeks from the moment I'm taping it, I'll have everything current on the website. We are launching a handful of trips, 2025, 
2026, which are beginner hiker trips. So day hikes, like three, four days of day hiking and sleeping in a bed at night. And then three or four days of culture in various countries around the world. And I'm so, so excited. There's so many that want to hike that are beginners. It's okay. Be a beginner. I was a beginner. I was, I mean, I'd hiked a ton before this, but this is the first time I'd slept out in the woods and cooked out in the woods and I still haven't pitched a tent. <laughs> It's okay to be a beginner, and we're going to mix that with our expertise, a little bit of day hiking, a little bit of culture, and you're going to get to see the world on these trips. So I can't wait to hear your response. So in the comments, put, where would you love to go and have like three days of culture and three days of day hiking? Now, when I say beginner day hiking, I'm saying like five to eight miles a day, like not, we're not going to be doing 20 miles a day at all. Uh, we will have some more advanced hikes that are launching as well. And a couple of um, like a hybrid of beginner and, and moderate um, launching on the AT, like a couple nights in a hostel, a couple nights in the woods, pending that everything is cleaned up from the hurricane and, and it's safe to venture into these areas and safe and also respectful of the community. So where do you want to go? Do you want to go have some culture and hike in Norway, the south of France, um, Vietnam, Thailand? Like, tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm so excited about this. So Captain was just taunting me by talking about this soup dumpling place we love in Chinatown in New York City. And I was like, don't do it. It's making me feel bad. And then he just started going like off into the woods over here. I think we've lost it. Because you, all you were thinking about were your dumplings. <laughs> We've officially lost it. I think the trail has gotten to our head. There's no more talking about food until we're done. That's it. No oh, more. really? Not a, not even a New York style no, pizza? No, 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 Or a bagel, no. Wow. Unbelievable beauty. Barren Mountain, 2,600 feet. First climb for the day. How are you feeling? Tired. And hungry, huh? So during our entire through hike, our entire AT through hike, we have not done one thing yet, and that is a ramen bomb. And for the first time, you are I'm doing it. it. You're doing it. So I don't know if I did it right. I did what other people told me to do. So I have in here, I have um, instant potatoes, like a, just a bag of them. And then I have a package of ramen and the seasoning and then two cups of water. And I'm just going to let it sit. And the captain goes, what is that? That smells like actual food. <laughs> so can you believe it? We've gone this whole hike and we have not done a ramen bomb yet. So I'll let you know if it works out, guys. You approve of it? I approve. I cannot believe we've hiked 100. And what day is today? 74. And we've not made one of these yet. This is delicious. And it's a much more affordable than those hydrated meals. That's it. I'm eating these for the next five days. Haha. <laughs> I would love to. So someone's been out here building stairs. These look brand new. These are the sexiest chair the chairs. These are the sexiest stairs I've seen on the trail. Thank you to whoever built them. They're beautiful and I'm sure this took a lot of work. And we appreciate them. I bet there's more that's gonna go in up here too. Go to those rocks, add the stairs. Please. And it's, it landed upside down. Unbelievable. So apparently the airplane crash, um, someone else that we're hiking with said she talked to the ATC and they said it happened in the 80s. It was a father and son actually crashed upside down. You can see the planes like that. Apparently it was winter and they were delivering supplies to the winter cabin. And then the next day they hiked out. <laughs> um, both of them survived. It's an amazing story, right? So rest in peace on this one. They are, I mean, I don't know, maybe they're still alive. I just could do some more research after the trail, but that's a magical moment, right? To survive something like that. All right, guys, I've never done this before. I put the camera on my shoulder. We're gonna hike up these rocks together. Um, I guess I should have done this earlier in the game. I wasn't sure how to do it. Captain just showed me how to do it. And I'm always so focused on going up. I don't even know if I'm taping anything right now, but because I can't see what I'm taping, but you guys get the idea. 
Look at the stairs. Oh my God. <laughs> and just so you know, this is baby stuff compared to what we've done when we're ha we've had like an hour or two hiking up like this. <sighs> I think we should have done more of this, Captain. Although it might have scared people away from our channel. Okay. <sighs> you okay? Look at this, another beautiful work of art. Captain, I made him. Oh, wow. With help of his dad. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I was talking about the stairs, but Largo's beautiful work of art too. I have a video I've been wanting to make for you guys for a while. It's my sleep clothes. I'm gonna do it quickly because I'm cold. All right, so in we started out with sleep pant, uh, merino wool sleep top and bottom, and we realized at night when it was cold, we just didn't want to change into it. In the summertime, I switched out to, I was sleeping in like a tank and a t-shirt because I was hot and sweaty all day and I'd put something nice and warm on at night. Now what I'm doing, it's not super cold yet, but tonight's gonna be a colder night. So I've just been sleeping in like whatever I'm hiking in pretty much because I'm not sweating too much, but this is my base layer. So I'm gonna put my base layer on. And this is my sports bra, which my bathing suit has less material. So I'm not worried about showing you guys that. So I take off the tank top I've had on today. <laughs> then I put on my base layer. Here's my base layer. Base layer on. I've got my beanie on. Then I put my fleece. Remember, I said I didn't love this fleece, but any fleece is fine. I'm going to sleep in this. And then I have a gaiter. I can't find it right now, but I have a gaiter that I put on my neck. I don't take off my sports bra at night when it's cold like this because it's just too much effort in the morning to put it back on. So I put this on like this, like this. And then I'm not going to show you this right now just because I have my shoes on still, but I put my fleece pants on over my shorts because tomorrow morning I just take off my pants and there's just it's no complication of too many things to take on and off they're not sweaty they're not really that stinky and then I take off my socks and shoes and I put these babies on at night mm, they're my favorite piece of gear at nighttime because they feel so snuggly and my feet just get to get on them and just like spread and be so happy and then if it is extra cold I will sleep with my puffy on, which I probably will tonight because it feels like it's gonna be a little bit colder tonight. So that is my sleepwear. Um, some people, like I said, pack out stuff to sleep in and they like to change every night. I, when it's cold in, or cold-ish, I really don't like to do that. I just wanna, I don't wanna take off clothing. I mean, I took it off today to show you guys and that was as much as I wanna take off because I'm freezing. Um, I do love that my fleece layer has these little hand holes. I use them all the time. Really amazing. Love them. Um, okay, I think that's it. So in a video, I don't remember where we were, Captain explained how he sets up the tent and then he comes in, he blows up both of our air mattresses, puts our quilts on our bed and straps them in and our fleeces. So when I'm done doing all the stuff I do outside, which I think I explained on a previous video, I come in and then what I take care of my own is first I um, take off my shoes. So right now I'm going to chat with you guys while I take off my shoes because I can't come in the tent with my shoes on. So I take them off and initially I just set them outside of the tent until my air mattress is all set up. And then I actually, we bring our shoes inside the tent, even if they're dirty, in the event, just in case it rains or something, and I just put them down on the side of my sleeping bag. 
Um, if it rains, the tent is pretty, you know, well equipped to handle it, um, but we don't want to risk it. So um, not, I'm, my back is kind of to you guys because I'm taking off both shoes. So that's the first thing I do, which feels so good. So I get my shoes off and then I take off my socks. So I take off my socks. I'm sure this is thrilling for you guys, right? And we each have a little pot. We have a pocket right behind where the camera is that we put things in, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then we each have a pocket up by our head. So in my pocket up by my head, I stick my socks. If my socks are wet, I hang them in the tent someplace to dry, which in reality, they don't normally dry. I also put my gaiters in that little spot. So I know where it is um, in the morning when I need them. And then... I put on these socks that I was talking about earlier. Excuse me. I don't know if I'll, I'll need them tonight, but they just bring me so much joy. They feel so good on my feet. I just absolutely love them. So taking the socks off the other feet. Um, also, I didn't do it tonight, but I have these little, which I've shown you guys before, these little... Um, you just pour a little water on them and they expand. I forgot to do it tonight and I'm not going to do it now. Um, and I use that to like wash my face and my hands um, and some other parts of my body, body. And if I've got any dirt or something on my legs. So get these guys on. And then I... Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> then the next thing I do is I get... I take my... On my pack, I have a mace, and if we're at a, I, I usually put the hook this right up here, is right up here, just in case I need it. And I also hook the camera when I'm done with it right up here, so we know where it is. It's a little netting right here that has a little basket in it, and then I also put the bag for my, the bag that my, my sleeping bag comes in up there, the bag for my air mattress. So when I'm up in the morning and trying to like organize things and take care of it, I know where everything is. So I just take this bag and I toss it up there. Next thing I do is I check to see what needs to be charged. Um, my Garmin needs to be charged, but Captain informed me that we're going to charge that in the morning. Um, so I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I put my bag behind me up here whatever's left inside of it um, and I use it as kind of like a second like a second pillow just if I want a little bit of elevation I'm not lying so flat especially if we're on a bit of a slant or something I take my fanny pack and I put it right beside me with my glasses in it and my phone um, it, so I know exactly where they are in the middle of the night if I need them and then right outside the tent over here see if I can, I can show you guys that. Oh, I don't think I can. Well, anyway, you're gonna have to trust me. Right outside the tent is Captain's sit pad he, that he um, uses to sit on just when I have to get out in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And then I put my, um, my cooler cloth out there as well so I know where it is when I need to go in the middle of the night. And I think, I think that's about everything else that I do. Um, I think I remembered everything. So this is my sleep pad. Um, cover. I put that up there as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And then I close the tent door. I usually bring my poles and put them under the rain fly here so that they're not necessarily in the tent. Unless it's going to rain, then I'll put them in the tent so they don't get, the handles don't get too nasty. Um, but it just, it, there's a lot of space. There's a lot of Oh, the big Agnes, the big Agnes tent, the zipper on it never quite works right. The Z-Pack one works so much better, but you get the idea. So good night, guys. Well, not good night. We're going to say good night in a minute. But. Welcome to the end of day 174. We, Captain's not feeling well, you guys. We went from Long Pond to Chairback Gap Lean to 11.9. Let's just call it 12 miles. We went two miles less than we intended and I'm glad we stopped because he wasn't feeling well. And we're just tired, just very, just tired. Um, anything to report, like from? No. You want to just jump to best and worst because you're not feeling well. Best part was I don't know. There wasn't mm -hmm. much that jumped out as extremely best today. No, I don't. 
I mean, the the time lapses, the the views of the foliage were beautiful today. Um, but we've been seeing that for a couple of days, but I think today was just even more so. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't think of anything that's really jumping out. I mean, just, he wasn't feeling well. My stomach hurt this morning. So it was just kind of a low key day, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you have a worse part? I know what that is. I'm feeling very bad right now. Yeah. Just that's, stomach aches. Not, bad. That's not anything my, horrible. That's my worst part too, that you're feeling bad. I hate to see you feeling bad. All right, guys, we got a big, big, big day tomorrow. So we're going to let you go. It is not even 7 o'clock. It's 641, and we're going to go to bed right now. <laughs> Bye. Tiny one hundred two one zero zero. Yay. Okay. You got something to say about the 2100? Nope. No? Okay. Wow. This is just a baby one. It's like a point zero 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 one or something, but still, it's like... There we go. I'm not getting any younger each day. I'm getting older here. Now imagine that with Rose kids. Right. Okay, and then I can do another dance for you guys. Let's see, like a almost there, almost there, or almost there. Woo -hoo -hoo. There's got to be some reason why they leave it here. Like. actually using something out of my medicine kit <laughs> Pepto-Bismol oh. first time day 174 <laughs> wow